Hey everyone, this is First Warren Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. Well, the worst of the weather has arrived. The heavy sleet and freezing rain is moving into the Piedmont. As you see right now, you can see all of this heavy sleet across areas of Interstate 40 actually caused so many accidents that they briefly had to shut down Interstate 40. It appears it's still closed. We're kind of getting sketchy reports up from that area, but it doesn't sound good. The roads are getting very treacherous as we have heavy sleet and mixture of freezing rain. The freezing rain is mixing in more in South Carolina and kind of heading into South Charlotte. But you can see all the temperatures across our area are well below freezing. In fact, well down into the mid and upper 20s. So it's very cold. The ground is about 35 degrees. So all of this is freezing on contact with the ground. Now the back edge is back here in Eastern Tennessee. It's a couple hours away. This back edge is likely gonna arrive, I would say after eight o'clock and move to the east so that'll end the precipitation but it doesn't end the problems because overnight temperatures will remain below the freezing mark which is going to keep everything frozen over and we likely could see some areas of dense fog and that fog could be freezing fog remember fog is just water droplets in the air if the air temperature is below 32 that water will freeze on contact with anything the fog touches you get what we call rime ice and that could just further make the roads worse here's a close look at first worn doppler radar all that green is sleet or freezing rain you see the surface reports these reports are coming in from that mping app that uh, nssl put out that i've been pushing hard on social media the great thing these are ground reports from people with the app reporting what they're seeing at their location so you can see everything in blue is sleet but we're starting to see more of these red drops that's an indication of freezing rain starting to mix in. So you throw in some heavy sleet and some freezing rain, you end up with kind of like this glacial ice type of setup. So if the roads stay warm and the side roads, or excuse me, the, the roads stay cold and the side roads are untreated, some of that gl glazing becomes a little thicker over time. I really think we're gonna see ice issues on the roads lasting all night. There's only so much you can do with brine and salt. So it really is from right now through the rest of the evening that the roads will get pretty treacherous. We're keeping an eye on it. Megan Dennehy is behind me on our live blog. Um, if you wanna go check that out, ask questions, pass along reports, we'd love to hear them. We'll be on at the top of the hour at three o'clock. And of course, we'll have complete details at four, five and 6 p.m. on NBC Charlotte. Hope you stay safe and please, if you have to travel at all, it's not advised, but if you do, take it extremely slow and be prepared for it to take much, much longer than expected.